Hey guys, it's Ashley here, and um, I wanted to share a message. I was watching Church from Home this morning because I'm sick, and um, I just feel like God put something on on me to share. And I will just ask before, um, like if you if you've been called to watch this, like I just pray and ask that you would, you know, watch all the way through. Um, this isn't about bashing anyone. In fact, this is something that um, has stuck with me since like I was delivered and saved myself um, and I just wanted to share it like I said I, I felt like it was just put on my heart like God is like this is what I need you to talk about right now um, and try to reach someone so when I was in like new age occult and um, pagan you know practice and worship there's this and New Age and, and all that kind of ties in together, like neo-paganism and all that and witchcraft and all of that. During all of that, while I was doing those things, I noticed that there was, not just with me, but with everyone around, like a lot of people around, I saw that there was a um, glorification of this, and myself included, of wanting like to have a more primal energy or a more animalistic type way. And... Um, you know, some people even go as far as to call themselves, like, heathens and things like that. And, um, this has kind of, stu like, stood out to me since I was delivered. Um, I guess, you know, really it goes back to, you know, the beginning. Sorry. Um, I had to pause the video there. Um, Basically, you know, it says in the Bible, like, God created us and set us apart. Like, He wanted humans to be, you know, special and different and um, made in His image, right? Like, we're supposed to be special and different. We're not supposed to be like animals. Um, God gave us dominion over animals. And so, what's interesting and what stood out to me is, um, it, it says in the Bible that, you know, Satan was disguised as, or maybe was in the form of a snake, a serpent, um, whether that was a real snake on the ground or um, a spirit, I'm not sure. But either way, what's interesting is that he was an animal, you know, he was less than a human. He was given less, you know, we were given dominion over him, over that kind, and, um, I see in this world now, in this new age spirituality, this occultism and this paganism that the enemy tries to have us defile ourselves and bring us lower, like down to his level. So, you know, he uh, makes us glorify heathenism and acting like an animal and being primal in order to defile ourselves. And he does this because he wants us again to be down on our level, on his level. And that's why in the beginning, he deceived, you know, Adam and Eve. Because if he could make them sin, if he could make them disobey God, then they would also be cast out, and they would be less than, and they would be, you know, um, kicked out with him. He would, They would be, you know, defiled and lowly, and they would not be in favor, in God's favor. And so, you know, we see this in the very beginning, Satan had Adam and Eve defile themselves, sin, and become less than um, what God intended for them to be. And this is still alive, and like this practice, this deception is still here today. You know, in all these heathen, like glorification of like heathenry and primal energy, you know, and being like animalistic, you know, that is the enemy trying to make us defile ourselves and bring us down to his level and separate us from God. And I see it, and I see people glorifying that heathenism and, like, being, like, wicked and wild and, and you know, free. And I did the same thing. Like, that was my big thing is I was just, like, a total wanted to be this goddess of the wild, like, you know, until I saw, like, the true nature of, like, what's really out there in the wild. And uh, it's not pretty. It's really ugly and deceptive, and it's lawlessness, and it's... Um, it's wicked, and, you know, we don't see that because there's this false light projection, like, over us. Um, 
because that's what the enemy does. Like he shows us things that he wants us to see, just like he lied and showed, you know, Adam and Eve that, oh no, it's okay. Like if you eat that, you're not going to die. Like you're going to become like gods, you know? And so the same stories are still happening today. But um, again, he wants us to defile ourselves. And I see this too. When I came out, there was this movie um, documentary called Gods of the New Age, and it was on YouTube, and it was really disturbing and really enlightening and, and awakening for me. And I saw, what I saw on there is something that I see happening in a lot of pagan practices and worship and ceremonies and rituals, and it's people rubbing, like, things on their body to bring them closer to earth and to death and, um, basically to defile themselves, right? So, like, ashes, um dirt, <clears throat> excuse me, mud, blood, um, I watched just one, there was some practices over, I think in, it was in India where it was happening, um, in the 60s, 70s, and there was people rubbing, like, the ashes of dead people on their, on their bodies, and so again, I noticed that this is just a, a deception, a way that these, um, spirits, these demons, these, um, lesser gods, um, if you don't know, those lesser gods are just demons. God doesn't share his throne with another. He is the Almighty, and he will not share his throne um, with anyone. You know, his son Jesus Christ is the only one that he has glorified. Um, you know, and even he is no not more than the Father, right? Um, but anyway, so I saw these ceremonies where these demons, these serpent gods, serpent demons were... Um, I could just see them like weaving through this crowd and um, just there was just this heightened energy and um, there was people there who were like defiling themselves with ashes of dead people and people do it with like menstrual blood and things like that and um, you know it just is a way that the enemy gets us to lower ourselves and bring us down and to help to try to separate us from God and make us dirty and unclean um, because you know the Lord talks about all these things in the Bible. Like, He talks about heathenism and animal-like ways. And none of these things are um, glorified. In fact, you know, and also the earth, just being close to the earth. You know, the earth is, is sickly. The earth is um, riddled with disease and sin. And, you know, the shed blood of... Um, just to shed blood in general from all the killing and everything like the earth is is not clean and it's sick and so you know god doesn't want us to bring ourselves down to that you know he wants us to be purified and clean okay i'll get it in just one second he wants us to be clean and he wants us set apart from the earth and from animals he wants us to be higher than that he made us to be in his image not to be defiled and in the dirt and so, um, this message is just to hopefully to reach someone and say, you know, um, let your father clean you up. Um, let Jesus pick you up and clean you up because that's what he wants to do. Um, in all of the Bible, so many places, it talks about, you know, getting white robes, being cleaned, you know, being cleansed and washed white as snow. So God wants to clean you up and stand you up and give you robes and give you, you know, you know, appropriate, like, crown and uh, make you clean. He doesn't want you dirty and defiled. He doesn't want you rubbed with blood and ashes and dirt and mud. He doesn't want you off in the wild with sticks and, you know, all these things, like, in your hair, um, you know, torn down, like, animal feathers and stuff like that, like, on you. Those creatures are less than us. Like, you know, we have a heart for those creatures because we're meant to love, you know, God loves us and we're meant to love those animals and to love on those things, but we're not meant to clothe ourselves in those things, like, in terms of, like, spiritually trying to embody those qualities, right? Like, it's okay for us to use, I, I mean, I, I assume it's okay for us to use, like, animal you know, skins and things like that, like, for warmth, but when you're trying to embrace those spiritual qualities of an animal, um, that takes away from your true spiritual gift and inheritance that God's given us, um, and He gave us more than that, you know, He has given 
like us so much. And it talks about right here, Revelation 6, 11. Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete, who were to be killed as they themselves had been. And that, of course, is talking about the end times. But what it's talking about is that he cleaned them up and, you know, gave them white robes. So that's just what, what I want to talk about is like, again, the message, the whole point of this is, you know, don't defile yourselves by being dirty rubbing yourself in dirt and ashes and blood and things like that as part of ritual. Um, come to your Father and let Him clean you up and know that our Holy Father is pure and loving. He doesn't need you to be rubbed in the dirt. He doesn't need you to be um, defiled. That is the enemy who wants to separate you from our Lord. Our God wants to give you white robes. Um, Another one is, is Revelation 7, 9 through 12. After this, I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. So um, if you look, another one, Revelation 19:14, And the armies of heaven arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. So God wants, you know, clean and and pure, and He wants us to be those things, and He will give us those things. You don't have to get white and clean and pure yourself and then go to the Lord. No, like He will clean you up. You just take yourself to Him. So if you're being deceived into um, making yourself even dirtier, covering yourself in dirty things, then, um, you know, just know that your Father wants more for you. He wants you to be clean, and He wants to clean you up, and He wants you set apart. He gave you dominion over animals, over lesser spirits, over, um, you know, all familiar spirits and things like that. You have a greater inheritance, and your Father wants to give that to you. So just come home. Just come home to Him. Um, and there's one more thing I want to share. Okay, sorry, I had to find this really quick, and I wasn't going to share this, but I'm going to, because when I first was saved and delivered, this is one of the things that the Lord, like, led me to in the Bible, and I'm just so grateful, and it's just, it does go really well with what we're talking about here, and so this is Matthew 7, verse 6, and it says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before the pigs, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and tear you to pieces. So what God's given you, what is holy, what is sacred, don't defile it, don't cast it before the pigs, don't cast it down onto the ground, don't put yourself down on the earth, don't get low, lower than what God has meant for you. Um, because if you cast those sacred and holy things down, they're just going to be trampled on and destroyed. The enemy is cast out. He is separate. He is the king of the heathens. And um, he wants you to defile yourself. And he wants to make those things look like they're fun and um, different and set apart. But they're not. And he's, he doesn't care about that. So just come home. 